we have heard discussions that Clarence Thomas has already decided as of June this year with respect to the Supreme Court to overturn the 2020 election vis-a-vis -vis the Brunson case. Now, we had Loy earlier on this month to discuss that, and he seemed a bit reluctant to discuss any details and even seemed to downplay the, cases, uh, the case status being active altogether. I was just curious if you could confirm as best you can whether or not this is true, and if it is, why is President Trump saying November 5th is the day of victory if he's already won? Is that just part of a narrative in the overall plan? You know, this is a really fascinating question, John, because you're getting at some of the politics and the, the irregular warfare goings on that I'm trying to break down that I tried to break down in audio file 83, which I'm releasing pretty soon. Um, with respect to Brunson, what I find very fascinating is that Loy, who I've met personally, and I, I think he's a phenomenal human being, just by the way, he has always been very upfront about it's the court, it's the court, it's the court, it's the law, it's the law, it's the law. And suddenly we have a change in rhetoric over the last six to eight weeks. We also have reports coming out, and I've not heard it directly from Loy himself, but I've heard it from people who have spoken directly with him that I believe to be credible, that there is now an NDA at play with respect to the Brunson case. There's only one reason that you have an NDA, and I'm going to leave that for your very intelligent audience to sort of conclude on their own. So looking at this landscape, if we were to see the turning over of the 2020 election by the Supreme Court going into the 2024 election, we would have the predicate created for you know, civilizational level deployment of whatever the Democrats have left. That sort of ties back to that 60-day period of uncertainty I was talking about a moment ago. Suppose for a moment in a hypothetical that we come into this election season, there's a lot of nefarious malfeasance and uh, crazy behavior at play at the polling centers and, and in the days and maybe a couple of weeks after. But President Trump is eventually declared the winner because it's just an inarguable and undeniable landslide. If that's the case, then you would have, I think, the situation set up to allow for uh, retroactive enforcement of that Brunson decision all throughout the past four years to undo a great deal of what's happened. And if that were allowed to be, you would essentially ensnare the entirety of the U.S. bureaucratic deep state in the process, because now they've all been caught out violating multiple national emergencies over a near 10-year period of time. What I think is very possible is that we see Brunson come into play in the next four to six weeks pertaining to this election, and then we see some sort of attempted destabilization by the other side to prevent the election from going to certification in January.